I don't think there's anything to do, but wait. Workshop's about to be done, and we can start building some satellites. Here we go. Done. Oh, that's the lab. Workshop will be done in zero days. Done. <laughs> Very quick. Additional workshop online. Workshop rebate. Okay, let's go build some satellite stuff. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Thirteen. We're always glad to have more help down here. All right, this allow me to build two more. Yeah, plus one satellite capacity for every two uplinks constructed adjacent to one another. So that actually, so this will allow three, right? Because it's right next to one. Fourteen days. Oh boy, that's gonna be a while. Let's see, what else should I make? I should probably make the containment facility. It's pretty it's pretty cheap. I probably should. It's only five power. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Hmm. What another power station cost? I'm actually I've actually used up quite a bit of power. 60. 6 plus 2 for every adjacent power facility. So that'd be 8. How much would another satellite uplink facility cost? Power-wise, 5 power. So I can basically build one... ...to volunteer for mech trooper augmentation sacrifice much. But they do not leave themselves entirely behind. A mech trooper will be able to apply some of the training and knowledge from his or her previous combat specialty to the cybersuit's operation. Good to know. So the skills carry over. Alright, so I can basically build one more facility. One large facility, I guess. Before having to build another power generator. So I'm just going to hold on to that for now. Yeah, that should be fine. Now I should be able to buy laser weapons. Yes. Do what? Okay, so I'm gonna have to write this down so I can actually compare. Let's see, medium, four to six, crit is eight to ten. Ten percent. Now, how does it compare to what we already have? Where do I do that? Uh, barrack. Can I change their loadout? Yes. No, that's not a rifle. Wait, does it? Oh, support would have a rifle, yeah. So I actually ha only have one person who's actually going to get a laser rifle. Everyone else has LMGs or shotguns. Right now, anyway. Huh. Okay. Oh my god, this thing is terrible. <laughs> okay, so compared to... La the laser rifle, compared to this, the laser rifle has medium range instead of short. The base damage is 4 to 6. Two more. Critical chance is the same. And the critical damage is 8 to 10. This thing is a piece of shit. Okay, I need to buy one. No doubt. Yeah. Actually, should I buy more than one? Okay, so my support need one needs one. No one else does. I'm gonna I need to train newbies though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have seven troops. They keep dying, so I need to train more. And they're they're gonna have the basic weapon as well, so I should probably buy two. I'll have one newbie on board to train, I guess. That should be fine. Maybe even two. Alright, let's let's buy two weapons. How much alloy do I have? I have a lot of alloy. Looks like around a hundred. Or is it... Oh no, it's the money that's the problem. Yeah, not even the alloy. Okay. I'll take two, thank you. Anything else to buy? Not really. Nope. 
I, I can't do this before the satellite uplink is up, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go check out the mech thing. Augment soldiers. How does this work? With this facility, we'll be able to build mechanized exoskeletal cybersuits, or mechs, and implant our soldiers with the cybernetic interfaces they'll need to deploy these mechs onto the battlefield. Okay, I have no idea how to do this or how this works. I think the mech troopers cannot take cover, though, so they're, the way you use them is very different from the main troops, where you always want them to be in cover. So, getting to use them is going to be difficult for me. Getting used to how to use them. How do I even do this? I thought it was like a stew step. A two-step process. Who should I do? Well, something tells me that turning a sniper into a, a mech is a bad idea. Because I'm pretty sure these things are supposed to be like... They're tanks. So, yeah. <laughs> and you can't augment a rookie. Okay, so I think uh, augmenting an assault would probably be a good idea. It seems like their skills are good for this, I would guess. A heavy wouldn't be a bad thing either. Let's go with John Smith. Okay. The selected soldier will change class to mech trooper. This process is irreversible. The soldier will also lose all gene mods. As you can see, they have to remove all limbs. It's actually very disturbing. It's just your main body. Your head and I guess your chest and whatever is all that uh, remains. Pretty disturbing. So bonus assault ability, shock absorbent armor, damage received from enemies within four tiles is reduced by 33%. Okay, so that's up close and personal. Got it. I don't I don't know how this is going to work and how long it's going to take or what. Like I thought I think this is a two-step process where you need to you need to change someone to a mech trooper and I think you need to also buy an exoskeleton. So I think if I do this right now, I'm not actually going to have an exoskeleton for them to use, right? But how do I how do I get an exoskeleton? Do I can I even build one right now? I don't know how that works. Is there something to research? I don't know. I'm confused. Should I do it anyway? I might be screwing myself. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. John Smith? I know this is gonna be strange, but we're going to remove all of your limbs. And you will never ever be the same again. But you're going to be a badass, so... That's kinda cool. We'll consult with Dr. Valen for the requisite amputations, Ugh. and begin installing the cybersuit interfaces as soon as possible. That, that is genuinely disturbing, the thought of having your arms and your legs amputated. That's really disturbing. Okay. Research is ongoing. Facilities are being built. As the alien attacks have become more frequent, our casualty rate has climbed. I know, troop shortage, we're fine. We should start screening potential candidates at the barracks immediately. Fine, fine, fine. You want, you want, you want more? Hold on, let me check here first. The squad leader substitutes his or her will for that of the all nearby lower will squad. I, I still don't even know what will does. Soldier seal twice as fast or wounds taken in combat. Hmm. All right, this one's kind of cool. New soldiers are automatically promoted to the squatty rank. But I can't get that until someone is major. Alright, I guess I'll hire a few more. Do you get them instantly or does it take time?
I think it takes time. Right? Yeah, new soldiers arrive. Okay, three days. Time to wait. A request from Argentina. Gas grenades. Okay. Defense contractors from Argentina have contacted us, contacted us in regards to our gas grenade technology. They believe that access to the equipment could turn the tide against the aliens. If we agree to the request, we're, they're prepared to make a substantial contribution to the XCOM project. 20 days. Okay, hold on. 190. I'm pretty sure the way this works out is that you earn more money than you spend. I think, because if you didn't, then what would be the point? The question is, do I have enough money to actually buy four? Let's check. Yes, grenades, 24, okay. 24 times 4 certainly is much less than 190, so can I afford... Four? I, I'm gonna have to spend Thin Man Corpses, which probably is gonna be what I lack. Oh, I actually can make four. 96 bucks. I'd burn some Thin Man Corpses. But apparently I'm not lacking too many of those, so I would earn a slightly less than $100. So, 94. 94 magic monies. In exchange for eight Thin Man corpses, basically. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You can sell stuff on the black market. So, I, I'm, I'm essentially... I'm essentially selling eight Thin Man corpses for 94. So, let me check what eight Thin Man corpses would actually go for on the market. I think it's in the Situation Room. Gray Market, yeah. Okay, 8 would go for 40. Okay, so it is a good deal. Yeah, you're getting a little bit more than twice than what you would get on the gray market. I love that it's called the gray market, too. Not the black market, but the gray market, because aliens. <laughs> Let's buy those up. Now, eh, where's the orders? Or the things? Pending requests. There it is. There you go. Well, that was done without any fanfare. Press the button, and it's done. I expected at least a thank you or something. Jeez. Time to wait. Spectre has returned to active duty, and Seeker Autopsy is done. Respirator Implant. Ghost Grenade. Ghost Grenade. Mimetic skin. Ooh. I need to try this stuff. Okay, this sounds cool. Okay. We can fabricate a module that will automatically detect chemical and physical threats to a soldier's oxygen supply and deploy un... Uh, deploy uncomfortable but potentially life-saving oxygen tube shunts in a matter of seconds. Wait, I'm sorry, what does it do? I don't, I don't understand. What does that protect you from? Does it protect you from poison from, like, Thin Men? Hmm. Ghost Grenade. Illyrium-infused particles that, when diffused onto our soldiers, cause them to become invisible. And they lose a charge after... Okay, so you use it, and it makes everyone invisible in a certain radius. Oh, and competing energy sources, such as weapons fire, will disrupt them. So if you shoot, you become visible. Got it. Mimetic skin. Confers the ability to change skin patterns to match cover. When the soldier moves to high cover, enemies without special capabilities will not target the soldier. Does not work if any enemies have line of sight to the soldier's starting position. Okay. Leaving cover or firing will break this concealment. That sounds kind of awesome. Maybe. It says enemies without special special capabilities. I wonder how common special capabilities are. I'm trying to think of how to use this. You need to start from a position where they can't see you. And you have to be in high cover. Hmm. They can't see you to begin with, and you have to move to high cover. So you could potentially use this to flank very effectively.
I don't know. Let's do some more autopsies. Alright, so I believe precision lasers would probably unlock the ability to buy a laser sniper rifle. Heavy lasers is probably LMG. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure where the shotgun laser thing is. It's gotta be somewhere. Let's do the floater. Yeah, let's do the floaters. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. All right. Let's check the gene lab. No, only three hours left. Let's see, what do I have available now? Let's try arrow. Alright, there's that, there's that, and there's mimetic skin. Right. What exactly does that gain me? What, how could I use that? I'm trying to think of how to use that. Like, tactics-wise. You could move away from the enemy so it can't see you, and then move somewhere into full cover. But that only helps you to get there to begin with. As soon as you shoot, they're gonna see you. But... You could move out of the way again. I guess, and relocate and shoot him in the back again. That could be very valuable for an assault trooper. That could be super valuable. Alright, I'm gonna go with it. Yeah, I mean, I need to experiment. I need to figure out how to use this stuff. And the only way to do it is to try. So here we go. And it's quite expensive. It's a lot of meld. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. 13 hours for John Smith. G modification in one day, new soldier, cybernetic augmentation. Okay, let's just wait. To the muscle and bone structures in the lower body will allow our soldiers to jump well beyond natural human capabilities. Excellent. We shall see how that plays out for Isley, my super jumpy sniper. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Who needs limbs? Indeed. John Smith doesn't need no limbs. My first mech trooper. Interfaces are holding stable, but they're of no use without a cyber suit to interface with. I suggest we manufacture one immediately. When our new mech trooper equips that suit, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with its capabilities. Mm, shit, it looks like they already have one made. I don't even need to pay for it. <laughs> it's right there. Augmentation complete. You can now assign new mech trooper class training and equip this soldier with a mech suit. Okay, how do I do this? Keys to mech deployment. Okay. Mechs are powerful to armor suits with extra tactical abilities. Only mech troopers. May equip mechs in battle. Simple enough. The mech has three tech levels. Research is required to gain access to mech upgrades. Okay. So they don't earn upgrades through experience, then. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna have to spend pretty much all my meld just to build a mech suit. And select the first upgrade. Okay. Flamethrower or Kinetic Strike Module? Holy shit. Okay, let's look at what these do. This looks fun. Allows the mech to lay waste to a cone-shaped area. Flame can spill outside the aiming area. Kinetic Strike Module. 
a powerful arm upgrade for the mech, allowing the wielder to pulverize adjacent cover and enemies. Also boosts mobility. Hmm. How do I use these? I don't- I really don't know how to use these. Like, I don't know exactly how long the range of the flamethrower is, and I don't know how much damage the pulverizing an enemy would do. And pulverizing adjacent cover? Also boosts mobility. What does that even mean, boosts mobility? Does that just mean you can move more tiles, or what? It probably does, because you need to be able to get close to them to, to actually shoot them, right? I mean, not shoot them, but punch them. So it probably just gives you more tiles to move. That's my guess. Okay, so from what I can gather, the basics here are that this allows you to do a shitload of damage to one enemy, and this allows you to do a bunch of damage to a bunch of enemies. What should I go with? I really don't know. How often do you have enemies in an area where an AoE effect would... an AoE attack would be effective? I can't really answer that without knowing how big the, the cone-shaped area that it affects is. I mean, the enemies usually aren't super close together. I don't know. I'm gonna go with the flamethrower. We'll, we'll see what it does. I just wish there's a button for more information, but there isn't. Here we go. Success. Mech online. The new mech is ready for deployment. Go to the barracks and select a mech trooper to equip this mech for battle. You need a suit. Oh, whoa. Oh, is this... A oh! So no, they do actually earn stuff through... experience. And I get to pick the first one, I guess because of his already existing experience. Okay, collateral damage. Area of effect attack. Area of effect attack that destroys most cover and hits all eligible targets for 34% damage. This attack cannot cause critical hits. Right, so destroy. Destroy their cover. And do a bunch of damage. Advanced fire control. Shots from Overwatch no longer suffer any aim penalty. Confers plus 15 defense when in Overwatch. Hmm. Okay, but they can't take cover, right? Because they're too damn big. So what does plus 15 defense actually do? Does that mean it's 15% less chance to be hit? Because if you're not in cover, it seems like you're pretty much guaranteed to get hit anyway. You're not literally guaranteed to get hit, but... Eh. Let's go with the plus to defense. Yeah, to protect it. Now, how do I give you a suit? Here we go. So what does this thing do exactly? Devastating cone-shaped flame. Mm -hmm. Burns the area that the mech can see, and that is within the aiming template. Then flames will then spill up to one tile further. Doesn't affect robots. Affected units will run in panic. Ooh. Oh, what's that? What does that say? Health bonus eight. Holy crap. John Smith, you are a freaking badass. Holy shit. Oh, you apparently have a minigun as well. Cool. Holy crap. How much does this thing do? Oh, it only does 4 to 6 damage. Hmm. Need to replace that with a laser minigun. Risk of catastrophic overheating precludes suppression with this weapon. 
It's okay, no need to suppress. I can just devastate. I guess that's it. Alright, gonna, you're gonna have uh, 14 hit points. Which is a shit ton. Can I customize... You oh, look at this. I can give you some armor decorations. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be the one. You're gonna be the... The pink, fluffy, gigantic, burning mech. <laughs> what have I done? There you go. <laughs> They'll think you're adorable. Until you burn their faces off. <laughs> that is a thing of beauty. That design is beautiful. Okay. Alright, what's there left to do? Do I need to wait, or do I need to build stuff? Research going... 11 days for the satellite uplink? That's gonna take a while. Anything to augment? Not really. Anything to buy? Right, we have the respirator. I wanna know exactly what that does. Okay, thank you! See, this is more concise about what it actually does. Confers immunity to poison and strangle. Gotcha. And two extra health. There's something else. Oh, ghost grenade, right. Oh, it requires four seeker wrecks. Damn. Alright, let's leave that there for now. Autopsy done. Defense matrix. Oh, that's another consumable for the... Uh, what are they called? Uh, whatever the aircraft are called. Yeah, that thing. Chrysalid autopsy. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. So how do I actually... Research the further stuff for the mechs. I don't know, I'm sure that's far down the line, though. Because there's only three different levels. So they're probably roughly... Those three different levels are probably roughly spread throughout the entire game, so it's probably going to be a while. By incorporating melt into skin pigment, we've been able to create a chameleon-like effect for our soldiers. Excellent. I wonder if the mimetic skin would be good for snipers. Would the Seekers not be able to find the Snipers if they're invisible? Well, it said, except for units, like units with special capabilities would see them. That's, if anything would have special capabilities, it would probably be a Seeker. Incoming transmission. Ah, Council Report! Give it that money. Oh yeah, transmission decoded. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Why, thank you. Although, with all the people I lost, honestly, I don't feel too proud of myself. No, we lost Dresden and we lost... We lost Wings. That's not good. Carry on. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. I actually don't really like that song at all, but for some reason it is stuck in my head forever. How much money do I have? 466. What can I buy? The new what can I arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. What should I make? Uh, let's just preemptively build another power generator. Yeah. Should I excavate that? Eh, 
another thermo generator could go there. I'm not going to need power for a while. I should probably build a foundry just to see what the hell I can make with it. Let's do that. Let's build a foundry. Alright, we have tons of construction going on. Alien containment will be done in a second. Chrysalid Autopsy. Making good progress. Chitin Plating. Needle Grenade. Ooh. Bioelectric Skin. That sounds awesome. Bioelectric. Does that mean any enemy that gets close to you will take damage? Light Plating made from the Chrysalid Cells. Okay. Provides additional protection and a significant reduction to melee damage sustained. Also provides a Strangulation Countermeasure. Interesting. Needle Grenade. A variant on the Frag Grenade does equivalent damage over a much larger area, but the project projectiles cannot penetrate cover. Thus, units in cover relative to the center of the blast area will be unaffected. Okay. Good to know. The soldier projects an electric field from his or her skin, revealing but not alerting nearby enemies, and is immune to strangulation. Immune to strangulation? This would mean my snipers could be far away, and it wouldn't be a problem. Which would be very valuable. Revealing but not alerting nearby enemies. How exactly does that work? Nearby. So that would not be good for a sniper, because snipers would be in the back. It'd be good for an assault, I suppose. Interesting. I wonder how much it costs. Okay, we're done with the autopsies. I need I need more laser weapons. I really do. Also, uh, carapace armor is awesome, though. It's really good. I think... I mean, these lasers and stuff are showing up as red and slow, but it's only actually one day more than the carapace armor. I'm, I'm gonna go with the armor. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. So... I only have one assault left. Man. Alright, let's check the gene mod, see how much it costs. I probably can't afford it. No, it's actually only 15. <laughs> it makes her look like she's made out of gold or bronze or something. Mimetic. Hmm. How important is that? I need to know the range. It says nearby. And there's no way to know unless I get it. I don't want to give her two gene mods before I even know what they do exactly, though. I need to use them in combat to think of maybe how to combine them. Yeah, I don't want to put too many eggs in one basket. Who is it that can shoot twice? Is it Soul? I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna give it to M. Yeah, let's try that. It'll be fine. Excellent. We'll begin prepping the candidate for surgery immediately. 
I will notify you when the genetic modification process is completed. Please don't encounter any... Any abductions. It's not too bad. I've plenty. I think I have enough troops. We've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Okay. New recruit, a sergeant. That actually could be nice. I think I only have one support. Money. Okay. Well, they all, they all have the same panic, and they're all the same difficulty. So, the only consideration is what they're going to give me. Money. I'm okay on money. I don't need engineers. I could use a troop. I genuinely could use a troop. But is it more important than 200 bucks? Or 200 million money units, whatever the hell that symbol means. I have no idea what that means. Hmm. Money or a sergeant? Money or a sergeant? I am gonna go with uh, a sergeant. Yeah. Okay. We are certainly ta <laughs> we're certainly taking our mech trooper. Holy shit! Look at him, Corporal Smith. That's Corporal, right? Yeah. You badass. Pink motherfucker. You cotton candy flamethrower. Wow. I can't wait to see how I can use you. This is gonna be strange. I don't think they can take cover. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna deal with that. I'm gonna have to hide them behind stuff, I guess. <laughs> that is amazing. All right. Oh yeah, so I think the people that have gene mods look like this. They have like, they have like no sleeves on. You can see like little chips on the side of their upper arms or something like that. That identifies them as having gene mods for some reason. I guess it's an easy way to see that they're gene modded. Right. So, sniper, I definitely want her. Assault, I definitely want her. I definitely need my support, he's my only medic. I definitely want him, so the question is who goes here? Normally I would put a new recruit, but since I'm about to get one for this mission, I don't think I need to. Hold on, that's Soul. How many how many other trained people do I have? Okay, so two. Which is surely going to become none once I upgrade my max squad size to six. So I really need I really do need more people. Oh, he's in the gene lab though. Alright, well I definitely don't want two snipers right now. So this is a pretty good mixture. Everybody's a different class. That's good. Yeah, I'll, I might take a new troop to train them on a different mission, but not on a difficult mission. So I think we're good here. Can I give you anything special? Nope. Heavy with armor. That's good. Medic with a blah blah blah. Sniper with uh, you should get something. Grenade makes no sense. Medkit doesn't make much sense, so I guess vest. What the hell just happened to her arm? Hold on, let me let me do that again. Her arm freaked out. Huh. It's not doing it now. Alright, actually, shouldn't she have the scope? Yeah, she should probably have the scope. Look items available. There's my scope. Man, this this base sniper rifle, such shit. Three to five damage, that's terrible. I can't wait until I get laser weapons. It's really important. I almost wish I did that over armor, but eh, armor's probably more important. Okay. And we're good. This is gonna be an interesting mission. I have many gene mods to use. Two new, I have a medic skin and a super jump for my sniper. And I also have a mech trooper. So this is gonna be strange. We have visual on the mission site, setting down. 
You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. We're still picking up transmissions indicating alien movement in one of their major city centers. We should get down there and secure the area ASAP. <laughs> Look at John Smith, he barely fits inside of this craft. <laughs> Tip. Staying in cover is the key to staying alive. Yes, unless you're a mech trooper. How the hell am I going to adapt to this? Mimetic skin, super jump, and a mech trooper, which I'm pretty sure can't take cover and has a super flamethrower and can pulverize stuff. I think you can even use them as cover. I think. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Yeah. They, they can't take cover. No cover. Well, can they move further than normal people? Hold on, you can move to there. No, 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 I can't. That's normal. I think. Or close to it, if not. Exactly the same. And can other people take over behind you? No. Okay, so maybe that's like a... I swear I heard you could do that, so it must be some sort of a special ability or something. Yeah, because there's no cover around you. Alright. Look at how much freaking health Smith has. Jesus. Collateral damage, what does that do? Oh, calm down, Smith. Ca Smith, Smith, Smith. It's okay. It's okay, calm down. Calm down. Don't smash. Don't Hulk smash. Now is not the time to Hulk smash. Destroy the target's cover and do up to two damage. No critical chance. Right, so this would be to... make way for your other units. I like how it follows where you're aiming. Overwatch. And my lovely flamethrower, which I can apparently use two times. Okay, let's... Ooh. Oh, it even shows you the squares. Six fire damage to units in the damage cone. Causes panic in enemies and sets fire to the environment. Six damage. So this is the equivalent damage of a rocket. And that is pretty big. Wow. Okay, this is going to take some getting used to. Like, do I just run them out into... the open? And set them to Overwatch so I can explode anything? <laughs> he has so much health. Wait a minute, can I use a... Can I use med packs on him, or is he unhealable that way because he's a, you know, a mech? I don't know. Okay, Gene Mods, you you have... Oh, you have Squat Sight, cool. Muscle Fiber Density. Reach high positions without the need for ladders or other climbing aids. Right, so you can just, you can just jump straight up here, that is awesome. Okay. Why don't you do that? I need to know where the troops are before I do that, though. Alright, oh, and right, she has mimetic skin. Moves to a high cover, enemies without special... Uh -huh. So this should activate it right here, right? If it's in full cover. It's gotta be in full cover. Two meld canisters. What's the shape of the environment? It's freaking huge. But we're on the right side of it, so maybe we should start moving left. Alright. So that should activate mimetic skin? Yes, it does. Okay. Oh, so you... Ah, fuck. You're an ideal scout. I just realized that. Yeah, you can just move up. You're a perfect scout. Excellent, there's no troops here, so I might as well move my sniper up. Isley, I think you're going to become a badass. You don't have much health, but... J just watch this, this is probably going to be awesome. Should I put her in full cover? I probably should. Yeah, I'm going to put her in a full cover. She could shoot anyone out here. Let's watch her jump. 
That's awesome. You are my support. I have to remember what these people are. You're my heavy. Yes. This just got really cool. I can't wait to start using these things in combat. This is going to be so cool. So I could just like... I could just like blow up cover if I wanted right now. I could. <laughs> uh. Let's just move you... Here? Yes, Commander. Oh my god. John Smith. And Overwatch. Alright, so I'm gonna use my... Oh. Okay. Where can we enter? Entrance there. And... Whoa. Oh, can you come in from the top? Could you? I don't know. Oh, there's a door right there. Door there and a door there. Alright, so you... Could you get some eyes on the situation? Yes, you could. Let's check over here. Might as well get a look inside. Oh, I can't... Ah, I can't do that until next turn. Alright, let's situate people at the doors because we know we need to go into there. So, might as well dash. Doesn't matter. Shouldn't be any enemies. Yeah, bust that down. Fuck yeah, Graves. Ah, oh, can't quite reach. Where should I put my... Where should I put Isley? Ah, she can't even go up there, yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's just put you here. That way her back isn't too exposed, like out here. We are going to bust down this door so hard. And I'll put you right on the other side of the door. If I'm here, will they not see? I don't think they'll see me if I'm here. Like, if I open the door and the enemies are right in there, they shouldn't see me if I'm there, right? I guess we're going to find out. Hmm. I do. Okay. Pop this open. Okay, they haven't discovered us. So, oh, fuck, it's those things. What are those called? Uh, mutons or something? They have a lot of health, they do a lot of damage, and I believe they can throw grenades. Alright, so I have a flanking position on this one. It's a 100% chance to do a critical damage. But it's only 50% chance to hit. If I do rapid fire, it's 35%. That's... It's not good. I should fucking flame him. I mean, I can't do it through walls, right? It blocks it. Doesn't it? I'm seeing some squares lit up. Yeah, it does. It does block it. Yeah. Although apparently a little bit would spill on the right side, but... Okay. I want to just, like, bust down the wall. Just, like, explode through it. <laughs> but that'd be kind of stupid. Because I'd use up my turn. They won't discover me if I do this, right? Oh, they do. Okay. That's weird. Huh. Okay. Well, with mutons, frankly, I don't give a crap about collateral damage. I really... I want to use my freaking flamethrower. It's not going to kill them. But it would cause them to panic, right? I, th I think it's a guaranteed panic. It causes panic in enemies. It, it doesn't say it has a chance to cause panic. It says causes panic. So they might, like, run away. 
or do something stupid, and then I could kill them with Overwatch, right? Alright, well, I need to try out this flamethrower. There's, like, no doubt about that, right? I don't think anyone could doubt that. So... Hello! Wait a minute, how much damage could I do normally? 50% 50, 50 chance? Oh, because it's in full cover. F 53... Wow, that is really shitty. I could destroy its cover. But no. I am gonna burn them. <laughs> oh my god, that looks awesome, that effect. Okay, it panicked. Muton has panicked. Of course... Oh, and you panicked too. Now they're really close together. Yeah. Except I don't have a rocket to really take advantage of that, but still. Right, unfortunately, now he's just standing out in the open, which is bad. It's horrible, actually. I could throw a smoke grenade on his, on his ass. I don't know why I'd want to throw a smoke grenade on his ass. I, it'd probably be better just to throw it next to him, but... Hmm. Alright, so I could always have her... Arrow can blow up one of them. If I need to, but I probably don't need to. It's probably fine. I'm just gonna have her move... Yeah, she's gonna have soul move here. Take a shot. Good job, soul. Earned a promotion. You deserve it. Oh, she doesn't have eyes on the target. Shit. Neither do you. Remember, they have grenades, so I don't want to move my people too close. I'm just going to overwatch with you. All right, let's just let's just run and gun. Well, uh, shit. I mean, I can't get a flanking position. I don't know what my chance of hitting it would be. It's close, but it's in full cover. That might not be a good idea. No, you know what? I'm gonna move close. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to move right here. I have Mimetic Skin. Okay, Mimetic Skin is now officially awesome. Yeah, and then let's Overwatch again. Alright, please, please don't do something horrible. Please tell me you're still panicking. Good, you're panicked. That doesn't mean it can't shoot, though. It just means it might do something very stupid. Oh, it didn't do anything because it's panicked! Oh, that is awesome. Well, hell, you're dead now. I really want to try this mech trooper, though. So, you know what I'm going to do? Let, let's test out this mech trooper. Collateral damage. I'm going to blow up its cover. This game is fucking amazing. That is so cool. I just blew up its cover. Now I can see it. And Isley, with their super ability... Or, well, she's a sniper. With her super sight and her gene mods and her scope and everything is going to kick that thing's ass. Here we go. Earn your promotion. Good job. This is so this is so fucking awesome. Now enemy within is coming in into its own. Like before this, it had some new stuff. It had some you know I played with some gene mods a little bit, and there's some new equipment and some new scenarios. But for the most part, it was the same. But now, this game just became very different. I've, I'm now interacting with the core of the new stuff that's added into Enemy Within. And this is awesome. This is so awesome. Alright, we need to grab this thing. Excellent. Now I really do want the meld. Now that I have so much stuff to spend it on. But where's the other one? Well, it's a safe bet it's not, like, just right around the corner. We started here, it's not here, it's not here, so it's gotta be on the left side of the map. 
Well, there's actually barely any fog. Like, you can just see everything, almost. It's probably over here. Maybe this observatory as well. So let's start moving left. And of course, the going first should be you and your amazing mimetic skin. How badass is that? Like an invisible chameleon just slithering from one place to the next and then shooting you in the face with a shotgun. <laughs> That's amazing. That's a door, right? Yes. Let's move here. Oh shit, I see, I'm glad I used mimetic skin. Look at that. Wow, mimetic skin is so awesome. I didn't realize how good it is for assault troopers. It's perfect. You can just blow their faces off. Okay. How do I, oh, you need to reload. Your minigun or your flamethrower? Not exactly sure. Alright, if I move anyone up here, they're gonna be gonna be seen. Let's just get close. They might go out the back door, actually. I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna do when they get spotted. approach from out there, because there's probably more aliens to trigger. Yeah. Uh, just get close. Whoa, what the hell? Oh no, they, they didn't spot me, right? I guess they just move? Hmm. So that's the flamethrower that needs it, right? No, it's not. It's the minigun? Because they use collateral damage? Reload complete. Wait, what? I, I just reloaded him? What the hell? I just clicked. I was trying to figure out what the hell that was. Oh, well, shit. Okay, well, it looks like they might actually come into here. So... Let's just move you in. Right here. <laughs> Looks like they're moving from body to body. Maybe, like, examining the bodies. I could easily kill one of them. Very easily. I should probably just do it, shouldn't I? Yeah, okay. Either one, 100% critical chance. Goodbye. Arrow has earned another promotion. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute, is Arrow still in... Oh, revealed. Okay, there, I was wondering. It seemed like she wasn't revealed at all, I thought. Didn't the gunshot kind of give it away? And yes, it did. All right, who, do, who needs a promotion the most? I, I need to give this to someone who needs a promotion. All right, she's not gonna be able to shoot, of course. Might as well move her up, though. You are what? What is your rank? Tell me your rank, soldier. Because I'm your commander and I'm so incompetent, I don't need your rank. What, what are you? You're... you're what, what does it say? I'm sure this icon means something, but I don't know what the hell it means. Uh... Fuck. Okay, soul has to be lower, right? Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be lower. Because I haven't had soul for very long, but I've had... I've had graves for a very long time. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the promotion. Here you go, earn your promotion. It's a gift. Blow its face off. Uh, 
All right. I want that other meld canister. As such, we need to move. Should I move him out there? I'm not going to move him out there. That's too much to move. Got to send by mimetic skin first. Okay, enemies from that direction. And meld from that direction as well. Where does that go exactly? Okay. That's where I thought. Right. She needs to scout. Let's go here. <laughs> Arrow is such a freaking badass. It's amazing. Alright, so does collateral damage really use up all your ammo? It doesn't say how much ammo it's using up. It doesn't show anything. I don't get it. I'd like to put some people over here on the right, but there might be enemies there, and I don't want to see them first. I mean, I want to see them before they see me. Because that is a huge advantage. It really is a big advantage. I'm realizing that very quickly. And you need to reload. So move up and reload. Hmm. I could put her on the roof. She does have squad sight. But then again, the enemies are probably inside of the... Yeah, I mean, there's, there's the thing. The meld canister. They're probably inside. They could come outside, though. But they're probably not going to, are they? Probably not. <laughs> what the hell should I do with you? I feel like I should move him behind cover, even though it literally doesn't matter. Seekers. And those will probably see Arrow. They probably have these special capabilities needed for that. Okay. <laughs> Can the Seekers strangle a mech? There's no way. No way. I need to know how many turns I have to get that, because it's probably not much. I've taken a while. Ooh, that might not be a bad place. That's not in any cover, though. I hate that. <laughs> she could even jump up onto here. <laughs> it's amazing. And this is probably a pretty good place to be. Reasonably close to the every everybody else, and she can make use of squad sight and probably kill people within the building as well by shooting through the windows. Up here, she would she would be able to kill people outside, but not inside. Actually, here would be good, but eh, it's too close. Yeah, I'm gonna put her here. Bust through that window. Good job, I, I. Oh crap! What was it? Not Isley. Um. I Isley. Yeah. I forgot how to pronounce it for a second. My apologies, soldier. Let's move you up. She'll be dashing. <laughs> Bust through that door too. My soldiers seem to hate windows. I guess they prefer Max. Get it? Windows, Max, operating systems. Yeah. Let's just Overwatch. Actually, no. No. Well, uh, fuck. I want to move her up because she has mimetic skin, but again, the Seekers are probably going to find her. Okay, I'll move her up to here because even if they do find her, we can just take care of them. I need to see... I need to know how many turns I have to get to that. Three. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's Overwatch. And move you into full cover and Overwatch. Oh, 
Oh, hi, you're dead. <laughs> that is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Where's the other one? I bet the other one's scared to show itself after seeing that. Alright, I need to dash her to that, otherwise we might not be able to get it. Whoa, found enemies. What, what'd you see? What did you see, Arrow? Oh, Thin Men. I would love to burn them, but if I got close to them, they would discover me. Oh yeah, Squad Sight! I could snipe them! Except she can't see them from where she is. Shit. But she can jump up on stuff. Hmm, I don't have to dash her. But I do want her to be in cover. Standing up on a place with no cover is bad, especially with her low amount of health right now. So yeah, I'm going to put her here. She should be able to sh see them, right? Next to squad site. Maybe not. I don't see anything popping up. Maybe that's just because she's out of turns, but I'm pretty sure it shows up even if you don't have any turns. I don't know. I don't think I could remain undiscovered if I go here. But I could if I do this, I think. Maybe hopefully, please? Yes. Holy crap, there's a lot of layers to this building. Alright, so she's going to be preoccupied with getting that next turn. I mean, it's not going to take any action points, but... I, I don't know what the hell I was trying to say with that. <laughs> um, there's no reason to rush. I mean, I'm going to get the meld canister, so... Yeah. Would like some overwatch. I'm going to do that just in case the other seeker shows up. Then hopefully next term I can next term, next turn I can smash the thin man. The thin men. For there is two. Bingo. On the other hand, I could probably just blow them up with a rocket. Oh, I can't quite reach. I can I can blow up the feet. I can blow up the feet of one thin man. But that's it. Hmm. Alright. Isley, can you... No. Shit. I guess she doesn't quite have line of sight. She does have squad sight. I could blow up their cover. Oh, not a... Oh, she has to... <laughs> he has to reload. It does take full ammo. Interesting. No, I'm assuming that the flamethrower attack would hurt your own units. Yeah, damage two units in the damage in the damage cone. So yeah, it would like if I move an assault trooper into there and shoot him in the back, I can't use a flamethrower on it because then I would just burn arrow. For now, let's just move you up. Let's just hope they don't notice the fact that you just busted through a window. <laughs> Like, one thin man looks over behind his shoulder and just sees a window just go... Huh, eh, must have been the wind. Let's move in this way. No, I, I don't know if he can jump through windows. And if I go here, he's probably going to be discovered. I'll go here. A little bit closer. And... Nah, it's just Overwatch. Alright, where can I move her? Yeah, let's move her here. Even though she's not in cover. She should definitely have line of sight here, right? Okay, she does. I heard the 
little sound. No, I didn't. F I didn't want to fucking open it. It's weird. If you if you have a, a troop selected, like I had him selected, I moved over to Isley and I clicked on her, but it opened the door. So it seems like even if you don't actually click on the door, just by clicking, you trigger the troop to the trooper, the soldier, to open the door that they're next to. No, I want to select. There we go. 100% chance to hit each. She has very good vision. Alright, who's left? You. Overwatch, and Overwatch. I know that Seeker's still left. That Seeker's around here. And it's still Seeker. Oh, there it is. And it's dead. It is so dead. Or not. You can't even hit a Seeker with a minigun from 20 feet away. Well, I know what I'm going to use Isley for. Or should I use someone else? Actually, I could just use you, or do you not... Oh, you don't even have enough ammo to do a normal shot. Wow. You really need more... You need more ammo capacity, man. I could flamethrower it. <laughs> I'm not sure that Soul would altogether appreciate being flamed. Even if it would take care of the problem, it might cause some other problems. Alright, sniper time. Up to five damage. No, we need a headshot. And you're dead. She's gotta get a promotion now, right? Come on, come on, come on. No promotion? Really? She's done amazing. She killed a Muton and a Seeker. You think that'd be worthy of a promotion? But apparently not. All right, let's just kill one of them. Goodbye. Surprise! What is that? Can I flame him from here? I don't think I can. Also, look at the ripply cloth physics on these things. Look at that. That is so cool. I never noticed details like that. There must be a stiff wind. Which is weird because you can't hear it, but apparently it's there. I could just blow it up. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you, Thin Man. <laughs> that's gonna end the mission, right? Yep. Good work, Commander. What a way to end the mission. That was awesome. Getting to play with those new gene mods and that new mech trooper. I fucking love the mech troopers. Wow. That is so cool. Between the mimetic skin and the mech trooper. Just wow. Operation Final Paramore. I didn't... No one took a single point of damage, did they? I don't think they did. And that was a difficult mission. An exemplary performance. Let's hope all of these operations go as smoothly as this one did. Indeed. Oh, we have a lieutenant. Was it... Did I need someone to get to lieutenant to get squad size 6? Or was that, like, major or whatever it was? I'll have to check. Corporal. Oh, I see we have a nickname here. Elsie Collateral Soul. <laughs> okay, Shredder Rocket, which I don't really care about the rocket all that much. And I also don't really care about suppression. Hmm. I don't know.
It would help you shred things, just as it says. But... I, I really don't like suppression. I honestly don't. I This is really difficult. I don't really like either of these, frankly. A 30 penalty to aim. But I don't like Shredder Rocket. Uh, it's difficult. I feel like maybe I should go with the Shredder Rocket. I've almost... I, yeah, I'm gonna go with the Shredder. I guess... Ah, fuck! I, like, never use Suppression. But I almost never use the Rockets. Well, maybe not never. Almost never, but... Infrequently. And with the mechs, it just seems like... Like, big explosives might be kind of useless, because now my mechs can just blow shit up. With flames or with the... The destroy cover thing. I need to choose one. I need to choose one right now. Uh, I'm gonna go with suppression. Just, uh, like, when do you ever use suppression? I th the only time I could see me using it is if my chance to hit it is extremely low. In which case, the gain that I get from suppression is greater than the, like, what, like, 15% maybe chance of hitting it. But how often do you have such a terrible shot to hit it that you don't even bother? I just don't think I'm ever gonna use the shredder rocket, so, alright, I'm gonna go suppression. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, you are my highest ranked person, Arrow, I think. Yeah, you must be. Close combat specialist. Confers a reaction shot against any enemy who closes, closes to within four tiles. Does not require overwatch. closes to within four tiles. See, I need more detail here. Does that mean if... What if the enemy is already within four tiles? Will it still trigger? Or does it have to be outside of four tiles and then come within four tiles? This is a key difference because with mimetic skin, I can get up close, up close and personal to an enemy. While invisible, take a shot, probably kill one, and then they will discover me and move. So if by moving I get an extra shot simply because I'm close to them, then that is extremely valuable. However, if I don't get an extra shot because I'm already close to them, then that's damn near useless. As one damage on critical hits for each enemy the squad can see. Up to five. Oh, man. Ooh. One damage. Only on critical hits, but I get guaranteed critical hits when I'm close. And flanking. Like, 100% chance. So... Hmm. But this could give me a bonus attack, depending on how it works when combined with Mimetic Skin. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I need more info. Shit. This is so difficult. Chances are, this is going to stack almost any time I go to shoot anyone. I mean, you're killing a target, so you're going to get at least one bonus damage. And most likely a lot more. How many enemies are normally visible? Usually like two to three. So it's a two to three bonus to damage. All right, yeah, I'm going to go with this, because I think this might combine well with a mimetic skin. Depending on how it works, we'll see. We'll see. But I need to make a decision, and I need to figure it out, and the only way to do that is to test it. Muton Autopsy. That went exceptionally well. And I just got a support. Remember, we will be watching. I know. Care of his armor, eight days. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I? I for <laughs> wow, wow! I forgot to give my laser rifle to my support. I forgot to give 
Graves, the laser rifle. Wow, and it didn't even matter. But that is a big oversight. I just realized that. Huh. Oh, there's panic in South Africa. That kind of sucks because we're, we're located in Africa. Oh, and the UK. That's great. <laughs> Satellite uplink will be done in five days. In which case, I believe I can instantaneously deploy satellites because I think they construct automatically. I mean, uh, instantly. And then you can also deploy them at the same time. So basically, I can solve the panic problem in five days. What else is there to do? I don't think anything. I think I just need to wait. Yeah. What is the gene mod that I'm doing? I forgot. The body's natural electromagnetic field will allow soldiers to detect nearby enemies without visual input. Oh, yes. I forgot who I even gave that to. Who did I give that to? Huh, I don't know. Power generator complete. Excellent. Foundry will be complete in just a second. Oh. We're detecting a new contact. Ooh. Much larger than anything we've previously encountered. Mm. I recommend we scramble our best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship. Okay, it's large. I need to use my one consumable because there's no way I can take that without it. Okay. My shitty little Raven 2 with its starting weapon avalanche missiles. Let's go. You can do this, Raven 2. Come on, Raven 2. I believe in you. I believe in you. Engaging bogey. There we go. Using it right now. Next two shots will hit the target. Holy shit, look at that thing. That is fucking massive. Come on, come on. Come on, oh god. Abort. Oh fuck, I didn't hit abort fast enough. Raven 2! No, it's okay. The foundry's done. <laughs> It's already, a, it's already a memory far in the past. Right, so I need another interceptor. And I think I need to upgrade my... Yeah, I need to upgrade them. Okay, wow, I can do so much stuff. So much stuff. But I need to keep $200. 200 monies. For my satellites. So I can spend 117. Okay, check out the foundry. Gotta buy some ships, obviously. Uh, super heavy infantry... Oh, that's the shiv. Yeah, that's the shiv that I never use. Unmanned combat drone that could take the place of an XCOM soldier. You have to, you have to do this project just to be able to build the shiv units. No. Oh. Uh, we can increase the... Increase by 50% the amount of healing delivered in a single charge. I believe it by default heals 4, so that should heal 6. That was very nice for a medic. Improved pistol, don't give a shit. Scope upgrade. Critical sh the chance of critical shots would increase accordingly. That'd be very good. What is this? Increasing need for tactical tactical flexibility has driven us to develop tactical rigs that could apply to all of XCOM's individual soldier protection systems. Okay, basically it allows you to bring a second item into battle. Which would be absolutely amazing. Not necessarily right now, because I don't have all that much extra equipment. But, undoubtedly further down the line, that would be amazing. But I can't afford that right now, because I need the money for satellites. In fact, I can't really do any of this right now. I, I need to worry about interceptors and keeping 200 monies in the bank. That's what I need to worry about right now. Can I build better miss? Oh, I don't think I've been researching the stuff I need to build better weapons, have I? Like, I probably need to do the alien nav computer. Actually, no, I think I do have better weapons. But how do I do that? Items? Oh yeah, Phoenix Cannon, here we go. Hmm. There's the consumables again. Oh, wait a minute. Because of all the bonuses I've gotten, the satellites don't cost 100 anymore. They cost 66. Well, it's way better than they used to be. 
Way better. Alright, well I need to get interceptors first. Before I equip them with anything. So what do I, I need one in North America, right? I think? Yeah. And... Where am I going to put my two satellites? Because you want interceptors at the places that have satellites. I don't know, I'll just put one in... I'll just go down the list. South America and Europe. Did that not actually take the credits out right away? Oh, there we go. Now it just went out. Right, so I need about 150 credits left for my two satellites. So, what should I buy? Let's grab another one of these consumables, because it's really, really cheap. Grab a couple Phoenix cannons. I don't know. Sure. Then how do I equip them? Oh, here we go. Confirmed kills one. Good job, Raven One. The number of kills you have matches your name. Slow damage, low armor penetration, low. Basically, it sucks. Takes 24 hours to switch, okay. Um, hit chance is extremely high. Range is short, unfortunately, but the fire rate is rapid. Damage is low, and armor penetration is low. That doesn't sound great, but okay. They cost money, so I'm assuming they're better than what I had on there before. No, I don't want to cancel it. I guess I have to wait for them to finish. Oh, wait a minute. I just bought two interceptors. But I lost one. I, I need one more. I, I don't, I'll deal with it later. Whatever. I don't want to spend more money. Wait a minute. I can... Can I fight the UFO again? Contact detected. Oh, no interceptors in range. Yeah, so I can't do anything about it. That might increase panic. That's not good. But I can't do anything, so scan for activity. Satellite uplink, thank god. That means reduced panic and a shitload more money. Hmm, yes, it turns successfully. This test has been a grand success. Okay. Actually, wait, that should allow me to buy th uh, three satellites because I have an adjacency bonus, right? I think so. <laughs> they want me to get this arc thrower so bad, but I don't care. I do not want to capture an alien. Fuck that. I'm going to have to do it, of course, but I don't want to do it. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Insufficient funds. Alright, so I can't get three. Oh, never mind. It's not instant. It... Oh, my God. What was that? 15 days to build the place? Now it's 20 days to build the satellites? You're killing me. Hold on. Can I sell something to, to build another satellite? I really want to build another satellite. What can I sell? It's usually a bad idea to sell stuff, by the way. But honestly, I think it's worth it. 50, 63. I think I need 66. Here, I have so many sectoid corpses. Take one. I mean, you spend a little bit of money and a little bit of corpses here. <laughs> spend some corpses. I'm, I'm spending corpses. I basically am. Um, but just sell a little bit to get one more satellite that might net you up to like 100, 150 more money per month. It's totally worth it, I think. Yep, there we go. I have two bucks to my name. Request. <laughs> 
Oh, I just sold a sectoid corpse and they want corpses. Oh, they only want four. Four corpses for 40 bucks? Uh, that's... Well, you can sell each individual one for five, so that's a great deal. Sure. Commander, our fighter is down. We've lost contact. What? You mean the fighter that blew up like a day or two ago? What are you talking about? Yeah, all the ones I ordered are here. What the hell are you talking about? That's old news, man. Keep up. Switch that over. Should I spend the money on anything? I don't need any of that stuff. It's this stuff that I want, but I can't afford any of it, so no, I have to wait. Carapace armor will be done in two days, but I won't be able to afford it. Available for manufacture. Tests indicate a substantial survivability increase relative to conventional body armor. Let's do the autopsy, because once again, it is very quick. This is the most physically aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the Muton. I can only assume there's a colorful backstory for such a designation. Alright, let's look at that carapace armor, because I'm pretty sure it's really good. I think it either gives you four or six hit points. Where is it? Oh, here. Oh, never mind. It gives you gives you four. Uh, still, though, it's a lot better than two. That's what I had before, right? The nanofiber vest? Wait, 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 wait a minute. The vest and the armor are different slots. Yeah, they're different slots. The nanofiber vest does give you two. Hold on, let me see what they currently have in their armor slot. Pick you. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's really good. See, the body armor they have right now only gives you one, so essentially the carapace armor gives you three more hit points. Very good. That's a huge bonus. So I'm going to be building that as soon as I can. Maybe I should do that instead of the muton. Instead of the muton autopsy. I mean, not body armor, I just did that, but I mean, maybe I should upgrade, like, my soldier's stuff. Maybe I should spend some resources on upgrading the sniper and the heavy, the LMG. Skeleton suit. Although the weight of the suit has been substantially reduced, its defensive capabilities are still intact. And the reduced weight has allowed us to couple the suit with a climbing grapple that we've been prototyping. Oh yeah, I remember using that. I think I used it by snipers. I think I used it for snipers? So that they can climb up on stuff, but it's kind of pointless when you have a gene mod that does the same thing, right? It allows you to jump up like a superhuman person with superpowers. <laughs> a superhuman person with superpowers. Nice. Uh, I'll finish the autopsy. It's only three days. It'll be fine. <laughs> 